Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to continue now looking at layers and understanding how they're used and how you can get comfortable with using them. So we're going to start off now with this picture here. And if we sort of zoom into it here, we can see it's, well, it's not, it's actually fairly low resolution, but maybe we could sharpen it up a little bit. And to do that, we need to put in a sharpening here. Well, rather than just go to filters here and sharpen and unsharp mask there, because that's destructive up here, going through that route. In other words, you can't go back and change it later. The way to get to it now, you can go to layer here, then down to new live filter layers. And you've got the same things here, they're exactly the same. But if I go to sharpen and unsharp mask, now it's put a layer in here like this. By the way, to make sure that you've got this coming in the right place here, for now, go to the Assistant Manager up there and make sure that down here you've got Adding Filter Layers to Selection, Add Filter as New Layer. Now then, for sharpening here, a very simple approach is to set this to round about 1. You can go back and tweak it later, so the radius around about 1. And then use the Factor Control and ignore the threshold and that will then sharpen up. And if we look at the edges here, this is going to be sharpen that up again, so that if I go back out again, hitting Control zero, then I can see in the bigger picture what I'm doing. So zooming in and out can help with this sort of thing. However, what I might notice is that as I'm sharpening it here, look at up in the sky here, there's a lot more of that noise appearing up here. So I can say, well, maybe I can get rid of that noise. I have, I've got something here called a denoiser, I can call. So I don't have to do anything here. I can leave that there because when I go to layer, new live filter layer, down to noise and down to denoise, notice that comes up here. There's a new layer being put in over here and in the middle, I've got the, the control panel for it. So in other words, you only see one control panel at once. It switches it out. So if I double click the sharpness one, there you get the go. I can go back and do that. Double click the noise reduction here. That's fine. And for this, generally, you only need to play with the top layer. Ignore the rest down here. So if I turn this up, you can see the noise in the sky gradually disappears. So it's a lot better there. Although also what happens when you're doing this, you can be losing detail down here that you'd like to keep. So. What I've actually done here, and kind of deliberately, by the way, if I click the X on here, that disappears. I've not lost it, it's still here. I can always double click to get it back up again. But just for now, what I've done is I've denoised after sharpening. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to sharpen last. It's one of the last things you do. And so to do the sequence of this, because at the moment I, it, it does the sharpening first and then the denoising afterwards. I can change that very simply by clicking on this here, dragging, keeping my mouse to the left of the squares there. So I've got a horizontal blue bar there, let go of that, and now I've moved the noise down. So it's doing the noise first now. So now if I double click the noise to adjust that, that denoising, now when I bring this down, it's not needed. So it's only going to come in lower down there. So I can bring that up there. I've made the sky a lot better, but with a much lower setting, which means I'm keeping detail in the areas which is more useful. And I did that simply by dragging these around. I didn't have to undo and start again. And I can always change them again. So I can take that one, drag it up to the top, see when the cursor is to the left of the squares. I can see the horizontal blue bar there, let go, and I've moved it to the top. And I can drag it down, or I can drag the unsharp one up there. And so I can swap the things around, and this is a very useful thing to be able to do. You can also, of course, turn things on and off. So I can say, turn off the unsharp mask and just look at the noise reduction. Or even the other way around, I can turn off the noise reduction and say, look, if I just had the sharpness, the sharpening there, I get all this. But the noise reduction has helped fix that. So there we go. That's just some useful things that you can do. You've got the sequencing of what you do things here, the way you can drag these around the place and change them. But you go to layer, 
a new life filter and you can get the non-destructive versions there as opposed to going via filters here. And you can drag things around here to get the sequence in which things happen. Anyway, hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.